be able to. How do we apply this form in our everyday conversation? For example, uh, you gotta use this form to express ability. Like here in our sentence, I would like to say that I can read a book in English. Or in other words, I'm gonna use this form be able to. However, how do I use this form? Do I say I be able to read a book in English? Do I say I am able to read a book in English? Or do I just say I able to read a book in English? Which form do I use? And this is something we are going to learn today during our lesson. The model form be able to is used to talk about the ability and possibility. And we will discuss the way we use it for the present simple form. So depending on what kind of pronoun you are using, this part B is going to change. For I, you are going to use M. For you, we and they, we are going to use R. And for he, she and it, we will use is. So in other words, it will sound am able to, are able to, or is able to. So let's look at the whole sentence. I am able to fix a car. You, we, or they are able to fix a car. He, she, or it is able to fix a car. So remember, the verb to be changes to am, are, or is. All the rest stays the same. Now let's check the formation of the negative form of the modal verb be able to. It basically remains the same. The only difference is that we are adding the negative particle not to the form of B. Am not, are not, or the short form aren't, is not, or a short form isn't. And all the rest stays the same. So let's look at our sentences. I am not able to answer this question. You, we, they are not or aren't able to answer this question. He, she, or it is not or isn't able to answer this question. In order to form a question with the modal form be able to, you will move the part to be in the form of M is an R to the front. And here, let's look at this chart and example sentences and read the questions and the possible short answers. So the first question, am I able to create a new account? And the positive answer is, yes, I am. And the negative form is, no, I am not. Is he able to run five miles? Yes, he is, or no, he isn't. Is she able to swim very well? Yes, she is, no, she isn't. Is it able to work automatically? Yes, it is, no, it isn't. Are you able to finish your homework? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Are we able to organize a party? Yes, we are. No, we aren't. Are they able to understand their teacher? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. And finally, let's take a look at a short dialect between an employer and a potential employee and the interview process. 
Hello, are you applying for a position of a digital navigator? Good afternoon. Yes, I am applying for that position. Are you able to assess students' need in online resources? Yes, I am. I have an experience in this sphere. Are you able to provide the needed information in the remote format? Yes, I am. Are you able to customize this process for each individual? Yes, I am. It looks like you are going to be a great asset to our company. So in this short conversation, we have three examples of how we are using the form be able to in the form of a question. Are you able to assess? Are you able to provide? Are you able to customize? So that's the end of our lesson. Again, thank you so much for being with us. Please, as usually, don't forget to subscribe to our page, to hit the thumb button, and uh, we're going to be waiting for you in our next video from Highlands Community Charter and Technical Schools. Thank you.